Hey everyone, uh, today I'd like to show you my sequential shocker box unloader. Uh, now the idea behind this is that you take a bunch of boxes and you pass them through all of these slices over a bunch of item filters and each slice unloads one item type from the box. Now it was a idea from Milango, he used it in, well, he came up with it and then 202 name built a uh, a socket using it for Cycroft's Mesa Core, and uh, this is a machine that does the same thing on Bedrock. Uh, now let's show you how it works. So, I've got a shulk box with a bunch of items that will be filtered, and some items that won't be filtered. And I've got a chest with the shulk boxes. If I put chest on here, you'll see that the boxes will gradually get past over these slices and items go into the chests. And the reason this is useful is because instead of being limited to hop speed like a normal saucer, double hop speed or whatever, uh, the bottleneck is actually just whatever item you have the most of. As you can see, I've got multiple slices active at once, and each of those slices is sorting hop speed, which is much faster than just unloading them one after the other. As you can see, we get boxes with just the items that weren't filtered in the end, and in the chest on here, we've got the items that were filtered. Uh, this suck is extremely Brazilian. It can handle unstackables, any 64 or 16 stackables. Uh, it can handle empty boxes. The only thing that will break it is filter items. So the items that you put in the filter, if I were to put these blockers in a shocker box, it would break, or it could break. Right, so finished filter, or finished sorting, and these are the output boxes. Now this is one slice or one tile of the system. It's too wide and tileable. It's pretty small, I think. I think it can be more compact, but this is what I came up with. And uh, basically your input comes into here and this comparator will activate its dropper clock and it will basically dispense the boxes one after the other in here and this part on the back breaks the box when the sorter is inactive and then puts it into here. This comparator is for stopping slices from overflowing. Uh, if there's an item in this hopper, the slice before it will not get any more boxes put into it. Uh, and this means no short boxes will be lost. It's tutorial time. So to build this you're going to need a two wide space for each tile as well as a seven block long space and a bit of vertical room. In this chest are all the materials that you need. These are what you're going to use to build it and this is the filter. You need four blockers, one for each slot in the hopper and 18 of the item that you want to filter. Gold is a placeholder. You're going to want to start with your output chest or shulker box loader. Then place a hopper going into that with a barrel on top. Then a hopper going to the back of the barrel and that will be your output done. Next take a sticky piston and place it facing the front of the machine with an observer facing up on its face. Place a transparent block on top of the observer and another observer on the side of that. When pushed, this will make an observer clock. Put a comparator on top of that transparent block and a piece of redstone dust on top of the sticky piston. Put a solid block on top of the redstone dust. Next, place a dropper facing up on top of the observer and a dispenser facing to the side on top of the comparator. Place a hopper facing into the dispenser. Next, go out two blocks from the dropper, like so. Break the first block and place a hopper facing into the second one. Break the second block. Then place a comparator on top of that hopper facing towards the dropper. This is going to stop slices from overflowing. Next, take a piece of glass or another transparent block and put the comparator on top of it like this. Put a hopper pointing into that. This is going to be the filter hopper. Next, place another piece of glass. This can't be a slab, it has to be glass. And put dust on top of it. Block down like this, dust on top 
and a torch on the side of that block. Then you put a repeater being powered by the torch and a solid block in front of that repeater. That will lock both of these hoppers. Now we have a functional filter, we just need to fill it up. So take your four blocker items, fill up the last slots of the filter, and put 18 of the item you want to filter in the first slot. Next, take a regular piston, doesn't have to be sticky, put it on top of that comparator, and that is going to be what breaks our shocker box. Then take a comparator, reading from this dispenser, and powering a repeater on default delay. Look up like this, blocks to the side, and a comparator being powered by the repeater. Then have the comparator facing into a block, and another block on top of the comparator. Put three redstone dust on top of all of that, a block on top of the comparator and the repeater, and put dust on top of the first one, the repeater on top of the second one. Next put dust on top of the piston, and a torch powering that dust. This is going to be what this mechanism here will break our box. Next, add a block being powered by the filter, press a torch on it, block on the top, and another torch to the side that will short pulse the pulse extender. This is the whole breaking mechanism done. Now we just need to make sure it can handle multiple boxes. Put dust on top of that dispenser and a solid block in front of the repeater. This is all now completely done for one slice. All you need to do now is put blocks on top of the place where the box will be to prevent it from being lost. And if this is the last slice that you're going to do, cover the side like so. Your input is going to come from this side into that dropper, and your output is going to be on this side. This is going to be boxes that have items, or the boxes that have had the items unloaded from them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the video. Hopefully you can get some use out of this in your worlds. Before I end, I would like to say this is my first time doing a tutorial, so if you have any feedback about the quality or the style of it, uh, please leave that in the comments as it would be very helpful. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a very good day. Uh, see ya!